Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Let's discuss another puzzle from series Logic Builder for Cat. One evening, Wilson, Xavier, Yeoman, Zenger, and Osborne made separate camps along the banks of a river. The next morning, all were to meet at Osborne's camp. Then each man besides Osborne was to return to his own camp. Wilson and Xavier camped downstream from Osborne. So Wilson and Xavier, right? So this is Osborne, okay? Wilson is on downstream. Xavier is on downstream to Osborne. While Yeoman and Zenger camped upstream from Osborne. So upstream from Osborne, Osborne is here, upstream. We have uh, Zenger and we have Yamun. So in upstream. Now it says, Wilson, Xavier, Yamun and Zenger each had a motorboat. Each motorboat would take its owner to Osborne's camp in one hour, exactly in one hour if there were no current in the river. If no current in the river, the time each person will take to reach Osborne will be one hour. There was a strong current in the river, but there is there was a strong current in the river. The next morning, each of the four men went to his motorboat to Osborne's camp. Wilson made the trip in 75 minutes. Xavier made the trip in 70 minutes. So now when they are going to Osborne, this will be upstream and this is taking 75 minutes. In case of Osborne, this is taking 70 minutes. Yeoman and uh, Yeoman made the trip in 50 minutes and Zenger made the trip in 45 minutes. Now for Yeoman, it will be downstream to Osborne because he is residing at upstream. So this time, is 50 minutes and in case of Zenger, once again, he, if he is going to Osborne, the time is 45 minutes. These are the time. <clears throat> now it says, which one of the four made the round trip to and from Osborne's camp in the shortest time? Alright. So, now one way to solve it, <clears throat> if I take the speed of uh, Wilson, as a W kilometer per hour for Xavier X kilometer per hour for Yaman Y kilometer per hour and for Z Z kilometer per hour then what will be the distance can I say in case of W the distance will be equal to for W the distance will be equal to W kilometer Y because uh, all of them takes exactly one hour if there is no no speed right I, speed of the river is zero right if there is uh, there is a uh, zero speed in the river so distance will be w kilometer per hour what we can say w divided by now speed is also w kilometer per hour so w minus now this wilson will be going upstream w minus speed of the river this will be equal to 75 minutes or in kilometer per hour, it will be 75 by 60, which is equal to 15 into 5, 15 into 4. So we can say that 4W is equal to 5W minus 5R or we can say W is equal to 5R. If W is equal to 5R, what will be the time taken by Wilson to return from Osborne's place? So now it will be downstream. So in that case, it will be equal to the distance will still remain same W, which is so instead of W, we can take the distance as 5R, 5R divided by 5R plus R because now it's downstream. This will be equal to so 5R uh, upon 6R. This will be 5 upon 6R, right? 5 upon 6 r and uh, what do we know that uh, what is the value <coughs> 5 upon 6 okay r will be cancelled out so 5 upon 6 this value will be 5 upon 6 in hours this will be 50 minutes right now if we talk about 
Xavier. So in case of Xavier, if the distance speed is x kilometer per hour, the distance from Osborne's camp will be x kilometer. Because if there is no speed in the current, then uh, it will take exactly one hour. So again, the distance is uh, x kilometer. So what we can say x divided by x minus r will be equal to 70 minutes, which is 70 by 60 hours. Or we can say that 6x is equal to 7x minus 7r or x is equal to 7r. So in terms of the speed of the river, which is r kilometer per hour, the distance is 7r. Now when Xavier will return, <coughs> when Xavier will return, this is going up stream, this is coming down stream, what will be the time taken by him? So distance is 7r, speed will be down stream, so 7r plus r and this will be equal to 7 by 8, right? It will be, it will be uh, plus r, 7r upon 7r plus r. Now in kilometer per hour, what will be this value? Multiplying this by 60. So this is 15 into 4, this is 2 into 4, this will be 52.5 minutes, right? Now similarly, we can figure out for y, in case of y, if the speed is y kilometer per hour, the distance between Osborne's camps and Yeoman camps is will be equal to y kilometer. So once again, we are going to do the same thing, y upon y minus plus r, because now as he is residing in upstream, he will have to come downstream. So y upon y plus r will be equal to 50 minutes or 50 by 60 hours. 6y is equal to 5y plus 5r or y is equal to 5r. Now when he will return to his place from Osborne's place, it will work as upstream. So what will be the time? 5r is the total distance. Speed is 5r minus r. This will be equal to 5 by 4, uh, 5 by 4 in hours. This will be equal to 75 minutes, right? Similarly, in case of Z, total speed is Z kilometer per hour for the boat of uh, Zenger. So Z upon Z plus R is equal to 45 minutes or 45 by 60. So 3 by 4. Or we can say 4Z is equal to 3Z plus 3r or z will be equal to 3r. So the distance is 3 times the speed of the river. So what will be the time taken by Zenger while going upstream? So 3r divided by 3r minus r which will be equal to 3 by 2 hours or 90 minutes. So what will be the total time for the round trip? What will be the total time taken by these people, so can I say in case of Wilson, 75 minutes plus 50 minutes, this will be equal to 125 minutes, right? In case of Xavier, this will be equal to <coughs> 70 plus 52.5, which is 122.5 minutes. And in case of Yeoman, it will be 50 plus 75, this is just opposite of Wilson, same case, which is 125 minutes. And in case of Zenger, it will be 45 plus 90, which is equal to 135 minutes. Right, so what we can say, the minimum time taken by one of these person will be Xavier. But interestingly, the maximum distance that anyone is residing from Osborne. <coughs> so in case of Wilson, it's 5R, 7R, 5R and 3R. So maximum distance, at maximum distance, Xavier is residing. And at minimum distance, who is residing? Zenger, who is taking maximum time. So that is very interesting question. The person covering the distance in minimum time uh, has the highest speed, right? Because uh, the distance is also maximum. And in case of uh, the person who is taking maximum time is residing at shortest distance. That, is, that's, that tells us that the speed of the boat of Zenger is also minimum <coughs> out of these four. Now this question can be solved in uh, one more other way. 
एंड वट इज दैट कैन आई से इन केस ऑफ विल्सन इन केस ऑफ विल्सन लेट्स ए स्पीड ऑफ द विल्सन इज डब्ल्यू किलोमीटर पर आवर्स एंड स्पीड ऑफ द रिवर इज आर किलोमीटर पर आवर सो वेन ही इज गोइंग विद द स्पीड ऑफ डब्ल्यू माइनस आर वेन ही इज गोइंग विद द स्पीड ऑफ डब्ल्यू एंड वेन ही इज गोइंग विद द स्पीड ऑफ डब्ल्यू प्लस आर these are the speeds right these are the speeds what will be the time so time for w minus r is given which is 75 minutes in case of w when there is no speed in the river time is 60 and this time let's say t now we can say that speeds are in arithmetic progression in speeds are in arithmetic progression w minus r plus r will become w then again plus r will become w plus r then in that case what we can say that time is inversely proportional of speed right time is inversely proportional to speed and in that case these will be in harmonic progression right then in that case these will be in harmonic progression so what do we know that if three terms x y z are in ap then 1 by x 1 by y 1 by z will be in hp right inversely proportional case and if three terms a p and c are in hp then we can say that b will be equal to 2 ac upon a plus c right b will be equal to 2 just like in ap we can say 2y is equal to x plus z in hp we can say b is equal to 2 ac upon a plus c <coughs> can we use that here let's see can i say that 60 will be equal to 2 into 75 In two t divided by seventy five plus t. Now you can see that we can find the time taken by Wilson <coughs> while returning with the downstream. It will be very easy to find out. Two into thirty sixty, fifteen into two fifteen into five. So it will be two t plus one fifty is equal to five t or three t. is equal to 150 or t is equal to 50 minutes <coughs> see we got this very easily right now same thing we can do for xavier right same thing we can do for xavier which will be what's the time taken by xavier 70 minutes and 60 minutes when there is no stream so if the time taken by xavier is t x t x in downstream then we can say that uh, t x Sixty <coughs> is equal to two into seventy into t x divided by seventy plus t x. So zero zero cancel out. Two into three is six. It will be two hundred and ten plus t x is equal to seven t. It will be three t or four t x is equal to two hundred and ten or t x is equal to fifty two point five. and same thing we can apply in each of the rest of the two cases and we will get the same answer and you can find the answer very quickly in this manner you don't have to use the distance concept so just remember this is very important concept in terms of time speed and distance that when speeds are in arithmetic progression time will be in harmonic progression and this is how you can use it if time is in arithmetic progression speeds will be in arithmetic progression and again you can find if two values are given you can find the third value so i hope that is clear to all of you thank you